what it do us baby mamas we feel so entitled to our baby daddies even after we have divorced or separated like literally we don't want to see them moving on the moment they move on we start the baby mama drama we start calling making noise uh, posting the current girlfriend insulting her stay away from my man which man when we were separated 5 years ago which husband when you are not together for the past 6 7 years the moment you just hear that he has moved on or he wants to marry someone else or he is with someone you want to you are going crazy why were you not trying to make it work when this person was not in place was not in the picture why didn't you try to work it out with your man if you still want your man why would you wait for your man to move on first before you start doing baby mama dramas you want to be the one calling he is not taking care of the kids he has got 10 baby mamas he will never marry you leave that person to find out for herself you are not a guide and angel Let's stop this entitlement thing that we do. We know we've got babies with them, but if they are gone, they are gone. Let's leave them to have their own lives. They deserve to have their own lives. If it didn't work out with us, it's okay. Let's accept that it did not work out. Let's give them blessings to move on. Let's not hold them at ransom because we have babies with them. Please, if you can't work it out, Don't stress the next chick she doesn't know she was not there when you had problems she was not involved please baby mamas let's stop this system let's learn to let go and also move on they are our baby daddies and if it's gone if they are gone they are gone period you don't need to be following around whoever he's dating whatever he is doing even if he's not taking care of the child help that pride go to work stop stressing somebody oh he's not taking care of his child he's old enough to know that he's supposed to be responsible if he's not responsible please don't stress about it have your pride don't be bitter as much as you say i won't be bitter i want him to do this and that you cannot tame a man a responsible man can never be tamed they will know when and where to be responsible Let's go. Please. Thank you. First, men most of the times don't run away from children. They literally run away from toxic women. It's unfortunately that it is a conversation that we don't want to have because women will always play victims. But my dad always tell me that um truth hurts but it also heals. But I want to talk about this analogy. So in America, it takes you 10 to 14 years to become a doctor. In Africa, it takes you 7 years to be a doctor. Why? Because they understand that operating a human being requires a lot of knowledge, understanding and wisdom. How come we think that we can just take someone from their mom's house into our father's house with no understanding? Except a miracle will happen. Life doesn't work that way. It requires understanding of gender difference in order for you to succeed in relationships. Because marriage on its own is all about relationships. So if you struggle to have good relationships in your mom's house with your family members, you will never be able to have really good relationships when you get married because nothing changes. It's just you moving. All right, so we're going to go through some of my five points. that I actually think will be of help to most of the women to find balance when they break up with their exes because I've seen a lot of women um some are very close to my heart struggling in those areas so I just want to be of assistance okay so number one, you need to understand that relationships are seasonal okay if you don't understand that you're going to struggle I've always been advising most of my girls and say if you really want to be with a man for a long time then you need to take time to understand and study him. Don't rush to have a child with someone because you want to keep a relationship it does not work. And when I talk of time frame, you know some time frame can be 2 weeks, can be a month, can be a year, can be 2 years depending on the kind of person you're dealing with. Because some people are already raised well and they're mature and they have made up their mind. That person you may not take long in a relationship to marry them. 
But if you know that even yourself, you are confused, then you'd rather invest more in knowing someone. Do you know, I always, like my father used to say, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage because you can move to the next person easily. But marriage, like most Monroe's always say, that you, like you're dealing with a, a dead person who keep re resurrecting. So it's painful to keep seeing your ex with someone else, especially when they are happy in their relationship. Okay, so point number two. You may have just got married to the wrong person or married for wrong reason. Make peace with that. You know, you need to remember that we have fallen in love with people for different reasons. I remember when I was at school, I fell in love with a man because his uncle was my mess teacher and um, my best friend was his sister. So, I mean, I remember this guy was <laughs> the most blessed man, but I still, you know, um, fell in love with him because my reasons were completely wrong and thank God, even though his mom loved me dearly, you know, he was like the first person I got introduced to, to the family. But trust me, I was only 18 years old and I want to be married. <laughs> Crazy, right? Crazy, I swear. Crazy. All right. And number three point is for those that have got kids, you are literally just messing up the destiny of your kids. You think you're fighting the man. Trust me. When a man with another woman, you are the one that's playing a fool. So don't do that because you're going to mess up the future of your kids. I've always said, if I want to marry men with kids, I would appreciate if I can have a greater relationship with the baby mama. I'll tell you why. She doesn't have to be my friend, but we should be able to communicate because if they are kids, I need to always keep in touch with them and say, hey, because you never know. If you're raising kids, you really kids don't have, deserve to be dragged into toxicity. They deserve to grow up in a very conducive, clean, mentally stable home. They don't deserve to be dragged into toxicity before they even get to, um, into relationship. This is why most relationships are struggling today because they were introduced into a lot of confusion earlier on in life and they lost sight of how a great relationship looks like so please guys don't do that stop dragging your kids into your relationships especially when there's fights don't do that it's wrong it has to be stopped number four guys listen i don't know if i'm crazy <laughs> It's so important, guys, for you to be able to study um, a woman that is dating your ex. Because sometimes you can bump people in a wrong way to a point where you're actually messing up your relationships. Listen, guys, life is all about happiness. Life is about relationships. We have to be really a community that understand that. There's no need for us to invest more energy in fights. Fights are unhealthy. They are necessary. If a man does not want to take care of your child, listen to me. Walk away. Well, let me tell you why. Because children don't belong to a man. Unfortunately, it's just the way God created us. There must be a custodian. But if a custodian refuses to take responsibility, the owner of children who kicks in, God Almighty will take care of his kids. I've seen incredible kids who came out of broken, broken relationships and they're doing well today. And now a father start to break and so that's my son or that's my daughter. So sometimes women, you need to chill and just invite God to take over the battle. If a man is not willing to take care of his child, let him go and focus on becoming a good woman and becoming a good mother to your children. Pray for them and ask for divine direction. God is faithful. He has never failed. He will never fail you. Trust me. Number five, like I said to you, Ask God to heal your heart because some of you is too broken. Is the brokenness that is simply showing in how you're treating people. So instead of you going after person, person and be fighting, spend your time with yourself and heal your heart. Make sure you take measures of what can make you to be a better person. So at least you're able to move on because your struggle is to move on. Why are you following a man everywhere he goes? It's because you're struggling to move on. And some of you, after this, God is, give, is ready to give you an incredible person. And you are the one who always assassinates those amazing relationships because of your toxicity. You find this good man, you start dragging him because you're still fighting your ex. Learn to let go. I know it's not easy, but learn to let go fast. Ask God for divine direction and healing. Oh, and another thing that will help you. This one, eh, trust me, you will never feel meditation. Meditation. I'm, I can share some of the mandras with you because I want you guys to heal. Mandras are so important in balancing your mind. Because remember, over the years, we've been collecting a lot of toxicity. 
Remember a scripture in the Bible that says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So what the Bible is referring to when it talks about the heart is the subconscious is that you're collecting a lot of toxicity over the years and you're keeping it in your subconscious. But what meditation does it to go out there and sweep every toxicity? Because remember, meditation is to rewire your mind. You need to reset to be that clean, sweet, loving person so you can start or you can restart. So I encourage you to find ways to balance your life. Okay, I just hope this will be a blessing to you. But trust me, it's all out of love. I love you all, guys. <laughs> Don't forget, see you in my next upload because I'm going to bring quite a lot of teaching on this channel. I love you all and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification button because I'm in for healing. Bless you all. I love you for now.